Polar Blue, Crossbreed, Red Pink Convict Cichlid Update. Hi everybody, welcome again to another episode of Fish Keeping Jamaica. Welcome to my channel. A few months ago, oh, it's nearly a year, I did a video where in which I actually got uh, three Polar Blue male um, convict cichlids, right? Okay. And I shared with you the dynamics of them that they are like cross between convict and the parrot fish, right? You, you, you realize that the stripes are similar to the convict cichlid, the, the black and gray one, and um, the mouth is similar to that of the parrot fish, right? I know that the parrot fish is a fish that was actually created in the lab, right? It's not a fish that you would find anywhere like that. Okay, so I crossbred it. Uh, uh, I crossbred a female, uh, normal pink convict, with uh, a male, um, polar blue convict uh, parrot. Uh, that name kind of long. So let's 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 call it polar blue, right? With a pink convict, and uh, the ratio of 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 dark and grey stripe because the polar blue in which I have is dark grey and uh, should I say black and, and grey stripe right and I have the pink convict the ratio between um, the babies in which I got uh, was roughly um, I, I got more I got more pink uh, convict babies than uh, the, the grey and black babies right uh, probably about a ratio of about 60 percent um, pink convict versus uh, 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 forty percent um, uh, grayish, blackish um, stripe. You know the ones in which probably most of you are familiar with um, convict secret. Okay, so I have been keeping them in uh, a particular container by themselves, secluded, um, as from baby coming up, uh, nearly a year now, and I've seen where in which they. There's a there's a there's a difference between the ratio between the the, the, the the pink ones and the polar blue and um there are practically two explanations for that. Right? There's a ratio shift where in which I realize that I have less less pink uh, convict uh I call it it's not polar blue anymore, but you know the, the cross the, the cross breed right i have less that the pink one than the gray show the gray black one right um when i first got it well i when i first i purchased one first and then i purchased another then i purchased another so i had three and all three um polar blue um convict uh were in uh normal 40 gallon aquarium so those three fish in the 40 gallon aquarium and they fought and practically one died so i decided to actually place them into the large tote 270 tote uh with uh the larger fish to see how well they would do why i'm rumbling and going on all of this is just to point you back to a particular direction now for those persons who are familiar with the parrot uh, fish you will know that the parrot fish is aggressive right and for those persons who are familiar with the convict cichlid you know that the convict cichlid by itself without even crossbreeding with the parrot is aggressive right so the cross between both there is high aggression amongst the offspring and i've realized that the grayish blackish striped ones are more aggressive than the pink ones one that's what I've noticed. Two, I've also noticed that um, the, the, it takes more than one breeding for you to actually get the, the offspring to actually look like the polar blue um, that I actually bought originally. The gray stripe one with a big, big face and little mouth. It takes several breeding for so you know several inbreeding amongst the, the space within the space amongst themselves 
um for your, uh, the offspring to actually look like that you'll you'll get the head um looking like that but the mouth just look totally different you'll get the the body looking like that but you know it's, it's just a total different sphere and i've learned a lot of th things from just observing um this batch of fish um one in which i've learned is that um as i said before the polar blue babies are a little bit more aggressive than the than the um the pink ones and two uh that if well it, it kind of link back to one that if you allow um the the the, 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 the polar blue enough time to spend within a space they will end up becoming a boss now why i said that is that when i first placed the two polar blue into this large two centi gallon aquarium right well not aquarium a pond tote right plastic tote right they got beat up left right and center by the large pink convict males if you look in the pond you will see a lot of large ones right i have a over i i have over a hundred convict cichlids, male and female, babies and adults and juveniles within this space. Uh, over a hundred, right? And um, and 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 I realized that over time, what happened is that they were able to fit in within the space, and they were able to uh, marshal back themselves to this aggression in which they would have within the aquarium, and they were able to stand their ground and practically they are all with females now and they are, they have actually captured a two from another couple and uh they are doing well a matter of fact i, I think i see some some um babies about the place but as i shared it to you um before in another share that um within this stop uh the, the amount of breeding that takes place is a lot but the amount of babies that goes to fruition is a small minute amount because of the whole idea of predation right in addition in addition i realize that um they will actually cross be with their brothers and their sisters right but this does not mean that you're gonna have fully black and gray stripe or you're gonna have pink candy you're gonna have a mixture of both types within the batch and um what i've also realized is that you can um out of that same batch where you have some pink convicts and some um stripe um you know gray stripe and black stripe convict the normal one in which you know um you can put two pink stripe two pink convicts together and you end up with um a polar blue because the tree the, 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 the gene is actually within that um that that baby right um so this is the update in which i i have to share with you i hope that this can suffice for those persons who have been asking me for it um they are doing well um i i really wanted to separate i have a container with uh the gray and black stripe ones and the pink convict ones but right now as it is my tilapia project is actually taking up every single space that becomes available so I do not have the space for that right now i'm trying to sell the convict cichlids um each time i do broker a deal to sell them something happens so let's see how it happens in 2023 for those persons watching or listening um i have some convict cichlids for sale and you can just contact contact me on instagram fish keeping jamaica no space between and uh we can talk business Thank you very much for stopping by, guys. Have a wonderful day. Peace out. Catch you next time. Bye-bye.